Mike Smithson has lived an adventurous life. Growing up in Fort Worth, Texas, joining the Navy, and moving to Syracuse to appease his wife were all a part of this great adventure. But then one day in 2013, this adventure took a new route. It was a Saturday, and uh, the day before Father's Day. Mm. And uh, I had sold a, a, a boat uh, to someone down at Song Lake. Uh, we were getting ready to offload the boat, and I suddenly had a pain in my back. And then within about 15 minutes, I couldn't stand anymore. What I was undergoing was a spinal cord stroke. I was paralyzed from my waist down. After the accident in 2013, Mike, at 55 years old, found himself adapting to life as a disabled veteran. It was a trying process as he learned how to move with a wheelchair and cane and do basic things such as get upstairs in his two-story home. It was uh, probably it was Christmas of 15 is when I think is when I really hit my low point, where. I was starting to just wonder what's the point in hanging around. I just didn't see anything. I, I started really questioning why I was here. And when you find yourself in a hole, what's the first thing you're supposed to do? The thing is to stop digging. The therapist, as well as this adaptive sports, were what was my, I stopped digging. I said, well, I don't really know what you mean by adaptive sports. Well. There's a lot of opportunities out there, wheelchair basketball and some other things, and would you come to this meeting that we're going to have that'll feature a couple of vets talking about what they're doing? So she kept poking me, she kept calling me, and so I showed up. And uh, I was invited to go to wheelchair basketball. So I did those kind of things. I went to Orange Ability. Uh, I met the people from Move Along, and I started thinking like, hey, this Looks pretty interesting. And I don't know if you've ever seen a sled hockey chair. It's uh, it's like a, it's like a hand truck. You're skating down the ice. You're flying down there, and it's it's pretty quick. And, and it was a hoot. As Mike found solace with both basketball and sled hockey, he discovered a new challenge known as the boiler maker. If you don't know what the boiler maker is, it's a 15k race. It's one of the most popular 15k races in the entire U.S. They said that if you can perform the Boilermaker in a conventional wheelchair in under two hours and 15 minutes, then we will reward you with a racing wheelchair. And I did it in an hour and 49. As, as I saw my recovery going on last year is when I really started saying, why don't we have more vets in all these programs? On uh, seeing who else we could get involved in these and, and so they could see the benefits that I've gotten. It's not about Mike Smithson. I want it to, I, I want to see how many people we can get going. The Move Along program, as well as events like Orange Ability, will now allow Mike to utilize his newfound purpose to help others find theirs.